Hello, piggy piggy. You having a nice nap? Okay, you keep napping. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am gonna give you guys a little tour of my makeup collection. I figured today would be a good time for no reason at all other than I had no other ideas. I was definitely going to say this is like a beginner's collection, but it's definitely not because I have been doing makeup since I was 14 years old. So I have been collecting for a very long time. I think I do have a couple things from when I was like 14 years old. Um, I did a video using my old makeup. If you see that video, you will see I have some old shit in my collection. I need to throw it away, but I'm too fucking nostalgic. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And I want to throw it away. I will, I promise. I will throw it away. Really never going to use it again. I don't know if people even make these videos anymore, but these are my favorite videos to watch. I absolutely love to see people's collections, like what they have, how they organize it. I'm an organizing junkie, so I just like to see how other people have it organized, and I feel very proud of the way I have all of mine organized, so I would love to share it with you guys. I'm constantly going through and reorganizing everything though, getting new separators and pieces once my collection grows and changes, and once I change like my everyday things and whatnot, but the way that it is now is the way it has been for quite some time mainly only rearrange like my everyday stuff because that changes a lot more often i have two ikea systems thingies whatever you guys always see this one back here in the background so i've got this one back here the super tall one and then i have a small one under my desk small one under my desk is really all of my everyday things I honestly don't really grab a lot from this one. I know it's terrible. I need to go through it a lot more. I definitely reach for it more than I used to. I have so much stuff in there. I should honestly probably declutter. That's not what this video is. It's just a tour. Let's just head on over. I'm gonna move you guys. I'm gonna start with the one under my desk. Starting off, this is the very top drawer of my desk. Oh my gosh, instantly. What, how did I not notice this? Okay, that's better, put it back. So this is my main drawer that I use every day. I just got a new system for this. So this is all one piece here. Um, it has the three pieces. So I have all of my blushes in here. Um, I put my highlighters and my brow products in the second one. And then here I have all the current like powders and highlighters I'm using. So my e.l.f. powder, this Laura Geller, my MAC and then my concealer and like primer that I literally never use. Like I don't think you guys have ever seen me use it. Over here I have, you know, my sunscreen, my lash serums, my hair clips and some tools. The second one is mostly tools. So like my eyelash curler and separator, all my tweezers. Over in this one, I have all of my stick stuff. So that includes mascaras, all of these e.l.f. pencils that I have done a video on before. I've done a video on pretty much everything that's in this drawer. So we've got all these and a lot of mascara. I had no place to put this. It just lives there. All my chapsticks, of course, all my lip glosses and like toppers and whatnot. My lip pencils are all here and I just have some ponies and bobby pins. And that's drawer one. Down in this second one, it changes a lot. It's only half makeup. I have hair clips. This is where I keep most of my lashes. All of these things are my nail stuff, but I have my lash books here and all my eyeliners, lash glue, all that good stuff in this guy. The third one, uh-oh, that always happens. This drawer is actually so heavy that it's tipping down slightly, my bad. In this one, as you can see, I have all of my palettes. Most of my palettes in here and some of them still don't fit, as you can see. And this doesn't even include the ones on my desk, you guys. 
And then here I have a lot of my skincare stuff and just extra odds and ends and whatnot in this guy and large things that don't fit anywhere else go in the back. And the bottom two drawers of this are miscellaneous. Here I have drawer number two. Drawer number one just has like pencils and crap in it. Not a lot. So in here I have a bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff like that. Um, just ones that I don't use very often or like this blue one that I bought for Halloween. I even have these old color tattoos. So over here it gets all a little fumbly. I have a lot of old palettes in here. Some single eyeshadows that didn't fit. Well, I guess they're not singles, they're doubles. Most of them. Like this. Like why do I have this? When's the last time you've seen one of these? Look at this. I think I used this in that one video I was talking about earlier, trying my old makeup out again. Here I have some brow stuff. I used to use this all the time. Next one down. This is one of my favorite drawers. It has all of my highlighters in here. Oh, I used to use these all the time. I love these ones. My mom gave me these actually, so I think I just love them because they're nostalgic. But they are actually pretty good. Nice colors. So with all of the products in the taller Ikea dresser, I will just switch those out and cycle them through my everyday stuff whenever I feel like I'm wanting to try them out again. Look at how pretty this one is. The iridescence in it. The camera doesn't quite pick it up. Like, look at this old Urban Decay packaging. Here I have old concealers and even some, like, foundation stuff but I have a lot of old concealers in here. Here I have some old concealers. In this guy, I've got powders. Like, I don't know if I've ever used this. I just bought it because you can like pop these out and make your own kind of palette, but I haven't ever done that. Got some really old powders in here. Foundation powders, bronzers, blushes. Oh, I should pull this one out again. I love this one. I really love these containers that these guys are in because they've got grips on the bottom so they don't slide around and they're really nice like heavy duty plastic, but it doesn't really want to budge. And then, of course, just some brushes that are currently not in use. Most of them are face brushes because I don't use face brushes, I mean, really that much. You guys know I'm ba I basically only use like one for blush and everything, so I don't need all of these. One. Here I've got some old foundations. I don't even think I've ever even used this because it's always been too dark. I've never been this tan, so. Just some old foundations, BB creams, whatnot. More palettes, except these ones are a little bit newer. Destroyed shade and light palette. All these old palettes. Some more old palettes in here. Like, look at these old Clinique ones. I used to use these all the time. I've got primers and such in this one, a little brush cleaner. All of my NYX jumbo eye pencils, like an e.l.f. jumbo eye pencil. But I've got all of these guys in here. And my liquid foundations in here. In this one, I just have tools and skincare and some kind of random crap. Here is my Halloween drawer. So once I take all of this stuff off, and like the liquid latex takes up a lot of room, and so does my fake blood. I have all my prosthetics down here. I have all my palettes in here. I keep all of the blood stuff in here. And this guy is some single. These are single paints. And then in this guy just down below is where I keep all my new products. So 
either stuff to try, backups, like doubles of certain things this is coming soon. I'm gonna try this out for you guys. Just some random unopened things. The bottom two drawers are basically storage for other things. Here is my desk setup, all my brushes that need to be cleaned, and I keep some extra palettes over there in the corner. Okay, so over here I have one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candle, Champagne Toast. It smells so good. I have my cute little beauty blender holder. Everybody always loves this. Um, I'm pretty sure my high school best friend got it for me at like Marshalls or something like that, but it was a gift. And here's where I keep all my bigger palettes. So my Jaclyn Hill, Jeffree Star, and a couple other bigger ones. This whole thing is literally just a napkin holder from the Dollar Tree. But because these palettes didn't fit in that drawer where all the other palettes are, this was my solution. And I only have a couple of them, so it's not too bad. All right, and that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And leave me a like as it really helps me reach new people. See you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.